Hello, viewers! It's time to expand on your accounting knowledge. I'm going to introduce you to the accounting equation. We all learnt in school that one side of the equation must always equal to the other side of the equation for the equation to remain in balance, just like a scale. Just like for every debit, there's got to be a corresponding credit. Hence the term of accounting books should be kept in balance. Let's review the accounting equation. Assuming we have assets and liabilities, well, if we want to relate that to expenses and revenues, let's talk about expenses and revenue for a second. If your revenue exceeds your expenses, you have a net profit. That profit normally belongs to someone. It belongs to the owner. And in this instance, we'll refer to it as owner's equity. In the case of an owner having assets and liabilities, we can relate that to a formula or an equation. And this is the equation I want to state to you, remembering that equations should always be in balance, and whatever you do to one side of an equation, you do to the other. Just as for every debit, there has to be a corresponding credit. So let's review the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Or assets equals liabilities plus net profit. That is a balanced equation. We could term it a different way by saying assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. That is the accounting equation. And that is the end of this gig. I might help you by showing you some, some slides just to review the concepts we have learned. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Or assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. Revenue or income minus expenses equals owner's equity. So in other words, we could restate the equation. Assets equals liabilities and open brackets revenue minus expenses closed brackets to give you a balanced equation. Bye from Lippy.